Okie dokie. In this video, we're going to cover um, upgrading from the most recent version of Linux Ubuntu. Sorry, we have on the um, Windows Store here. So if we go Ubuntu and uh, check for run Linux apps on Windows, you see there's one called Ubuntu, uh, OpenSUSE, um, and a couple of other versions you can get. We are, uh, but if you search for just uh, Ubuntu, um, Ubuntu um, then you can see there's also um, older supported versions, 18.04, 18.04. But if we um, go to the um, the Windows Terminal app, which is um, this, so installed, pretty cool. Um, so if we say launch, we launch it from here. There we go. I'm going to maximize this and uh, we'll take a look at our installed version. So I've got, um, like I said, 16.04, 18.04, and this is like the current version of Ubuntu. So if we open that and uh, we take a look at what version we're on here. So if you do LSB release and then tab minus A, show you what version you've got installed. Currently on 18.04, and we want to um, upgrade to the latest version, um, which would be 19.04, 19.10. I think it's 19.10. So if we say uh, do release upgrade and then hit enter, um, it'll check for that. We should get a prompt because um, this um, ETC update manager release upgrade is set to LTS, so we need to set this to normal. So if we do nano and nano <laughs> nano uh, etc uh, update manager um, and then release upgrade i'm hitting tab just to complete that um, and then hit enter and then down here we've got it on the lts change your server to normal and then uh, control o to write out the changes and then control x and then we can go back and do our do release upgrade. And then we we'll wait for this to calculate the changes it needs to make. And then once it's done that, we will uh, go through and pick out um, any issues which come. There's one for um, LXD, uh, which is like containers on Linux. Um, we are going to um, just skip over those um, for, for this install. It's not needed. I mean, um, you can uninstall it to begin with. There's um, LXD and LXD client, um, but you can skip over them as well. Um, so I'm gonna do that in here. Any other um, options we come across, we're just gonna pick the maintainers version um, rather than keep anything locally. And then finally, I think it's just a case of removing any of the um, any of the um, applications or programs which have been stored, so um, we're just going to get the um, this uh, upgrade information. It should go through here quite quickly, and then we'll get a summary of what we're going to um, be doing, um, and then we can just carry on with the upgrade. Like I said, any um, any prompts which come up. Going to take the maintainers version or um, skip for the case of LXD. Um, and um, yeah. Okay, so here we've got the, uh, the changes that are coming in. Four packages are going to be removed, 103 new packages are going to be installed, 469 packages are going to be upgraded. Um, and then, yeah, this is the warning. Storing the upgrade can take several hours. Once the download is finished, the process cannot be cancelled. So we're just going to say, uh, yes, YOLO upgrade. And then once we kick this off, um, I'll say it again for the third time now, any prompts which come up, we're going to work through those. For the LXD um, issue, we're going to skip over that. For any other prompt which comes up, we're going to keep the maintainers version and then just work through that. And then at the end of it, we should have um, an Ubuntu 19.10 upgrade to play about with on our Linux 
on our Windows subsystem Linux development environment. Cool, let's go. Okay, so here it's detailing um, the the upgrade, um, and it's just it's just prompting us to say um, there's going to be these this package is removed, all packages going to be removed, 103 new packages going to be installed, 469 packages are going to be upgraded, um, we're going to download a total of 155 meg, um, it says this download will take about 55 seconds but installing the upgrade can take several hours, um, once the download is finished the process cannot be cancelled, so um, with this, um, and it cannot be cancelled if you run into any issues, then um, I would suggest just uninstalling um, Ubuntu um, from um, however you do that on Windows, which is scroll down to from here, right click, uninstall, um, possibly restart your machine as well. Um, it can be a bit fiddly at times, but um, this is just for the upgrade. So you still have your fallback versions here. Um, and this is why it's always a good idea to keep um, just a, a note of your your um, build. Um, I've, I've written about this in the past, how to um, sort of um, detail your your web dev setup, just so it's easier to, to spin up a new instance um, if anything happens um, with that. Um, but for this, um, we're all good. So we're just gonna hit Y. And then we're going to this process complete. Um, and um, like I said, we'll in any prompts which come up, we'll, we'll sort of um, we'll, we'll tackle them when it comes to it, and uh, we'll work through them just so we've got our new upgrade. Okay, so let's just hit this, and then we'll wait for the next prompt to come up. Okay, so um, for this, um, file EA Hiram DMF, um, like I said previously, I'm just going to go with um, the package maintainers version. Um, so I'm just going to arrow key up to that and uh, hit enter and then carry on with the install. Okay, so um, we've also got uh, another prompt here for, um, for what's this for? The same, we've got an updated version again. So we've got the options of yes or or the package maintainers version, keep currently installed version, got a difference, or shell and examine the situation. So um, we're just going to go with. Uh, yes, for installed package maintainers version, and um, I'm going to carry on with the install. Okay, so um, I think we're close to finishing up here. So this is just to remove the obsolete packages. Um, like I said at the top of the video, there's going to be 56 packages going to be removed. Um, so we're just going to say um, yes here, and then. Uh, hit enter and continue with the upgrade. Okay, so it looks like we've got to the end now. And uh, to finish the upgrade, a restart will be required. You select why the system will be restarted. Why? So, and uh, because it's on like a virtual um, instance, it's not. But um, this just means done. Commands terminated normally. We could do Control C here and uh, X, exit out, and um, it just exits out of that um, shell. And then in here we can say um, release upgrade no LSB release minus A again. C we're now on 19.10, which is the latest version of Ubuntu. So there you have it. Um, it's quite a straightforward 
uh, install upgrade even um the only thing which was the sticking point i would say would be the um uh, the lx um lxe was it lxe um what are they called the containers uh, which is called uh, oh sorry lxd the um the lxd client um there is some issues with that just because it's not supported on wsl so um that was the only real issue um like i said you can uninstall them to begin with um but for um, the instance i was doing here i just um just just skipped over it um and then carried on with the install um and that's it you should be able to start using this without any issues now but um if you do come into some problems um i'd you know i'd like to understand what's what's happened and um you know let me know let me know how it went um so but that's it for the video thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one